I do hope I'm not intruding. The Voxler Building. Easy peasy. Yesterday I was a custodian at a community college. The day before that I was a real estate salesman. And the day before that I operated a drive through car wash. Take a look at this. It was published in 1908 and purchased for a wonderful soul. Millie Eaton of Portis, Kansas. It was her only book of poetry. Interesting possibility, yes? And he saw her hair like the brown sea weed on the billows fall and rise. On that same Monday, January 13, 1840, at 4 o'clock p.m., the steamship Lexington departed New York for Stonington, Connecticut. The Lexington was fast and luxurious. If she pushed through the night with her cargo of 150 cotton bales and 143 passengers and crew, she would surely reach Stonington by morning.